Scott Goldie, Project Concert 150. I am here at the end of concert number 50 here at Annabelle's. I'm here with new friends, my life's burden. What's up? What's up? Who rocked us tonight. Thank you. And it was very enjoyable. Now, you guys, uh, I mean, you are, you are not straight metal. You're, no, you're, uh, you're, uh, you're kind of a metal with kind of like a fusion jazz sound. Yeah. Uh, it's, we'll it's, very, it's very unique. We'll I mean, that, you, uh, before I get too far, I should probably let you introduce yourselves to the world. I'm Brandon. I'm the singer. Anthony, guitarist. I'm Marcos, drummer and percussionist. Sean, guitarist, vocalist. And I'm going to go straight back to that. He said drummer and percussionist. Yes. Because he had more than just drums back there. Yes. And his drum set was... Big and it had toms on it. That was the tiny. That was the tiny. That's set. actually the small set. <laughs> the small set. The big one. And you is, had xylophone is, back has, there. Yes, I even have chimes on the big one, which I missed out. And we have all kinds of other stuff. I missed my big drum kit, but we played here at Annabelle's. It was a small gig, so I brought the little guy out. We had fun though. <laughs> that's, that's that's the main thing. It was it was a blast. All the bands tonight did awesome. They were, everybody had fun tonight. Great groups of guys. Yeah, yes. Was, we, yeah, we, we all, had, we all clicked was, immediately. It was yeah, awesome. Yeah, Pistol Whip out here. We had the stare yeah, from Chicago. Couldn't have gone better. It was special for me. Got to hang with two of my favorite bands, and now I have some new friends here. Yes, you do. Fucking yes, you do. Great. And uh, when you, when you guys hit the lab. What what comes first, the riffs, the lyrics, the? I mean, do you just have thoughts that you gather up from uh, diaries? It's usually the riffs, but a lot of times what will happen is we'll actually approach um, things at the same time. Okay. Like an example, like our song Pristine, that it was it was designed off of another song um, through the Looking Glass, uh -huh. and we actually took it, we were writing it and. Uh, Sean kept playing it, you know, and I'm like, dude, I'm like, I hear something happening there, you know. And Tool, it's, Tool's Parable and Parabola was a huge influence on that. Had okay. a two-part song uh -huh. that ties together, you know, obviously two separate songs, but they, they just bleed in together and mesh, and it just builds up, makes it more and more powerful. And that, that was the goal with that one. But as, as far as the writing process goes, uh, generally, like he said, you know, we try to approach everything at the same time. You know, uh, I'll come up with a riff. Anthony will add the sugar and spice and everything nice. And then these two just sprinkle a little hell yeah on top of it. And, and it just it just makes it magic, man. It's, it's really cool. And, and you guys are also kind of unusual in that you uh, go at it with two guitars and not a traditional bass. Yeah, uh, we've looked for a couple bass players uh, and we haven't been able to find somebody that fits our personality, our, our style, or our, our goal for, for what we want the band to be. Uh, that's why I broke out the 8-string tonight. Uh -huh. you know, this was actually a first attempt. You know, in order to fill things in a little more, transpose some stuff from 6-string, just try, we try new things, you know. Yeah. A anything we can do to make the sound full and and uh, make people happy with what they hear. Yeah. It sounds great. It sounds great. Now, I want to, I, I mean, you guys, obviously, you. there's a running theme. They're my life's burden. And, and really, your songs are about trying to ease those burdens. Yeah. It's, you, uh, you, really, uh, you really shoot for... Hey, they're positive. Yeah, we, yeah. we, we want to inspire people. You know, everybody goes through loss, suffering, money troubles, the daily grind. You know, and, and uh, the whole point of everything we write, it's it can be better. You know, uh, the more you look at the negative, that's all you're going to find. The more you look at the positive, that's what you're going to find. You always find what you're looking for because that's what you focus. On. And and believe it or not, that's kind of what uh, brought me back to Canton. I mean, I in in the past decade, I have lost a big job. I've been divorced. I've been homeless for a couple days. Um, I've moved around and had some crappy situations. Money's been tight, and then I end up back in Canton, and all of a sudden, I dream up this project. And because I started going to shows, that was like my out. Music, so, music is a healer. 
<laughs> I've been to Chicago before and it was amazing. And I went there for business and I was not a tourist. And let me tell you what, when you're not there for being a tourist, you get to experience real life. Yeah. Hey Amen. Here. Yeah, here. Chicago is cool. I love Chicago. Yeah, no. Except for the White Sox. The White Sox can kiss my ass. <laughs> That's why I wear a gray Sox. I'm just saying. That's another plus from tonight. Uh, getting to hang out with the guys from Listera. Uh, you know, hooking up with them. We have a chance to go play shows with them in Chicago. You know, they're obviously more than welcome to come play here. There's a great group of guys. We'd love to play with them in the future. You know, so uh, little shows like this open, open big doors. And that's, that's what, that's what the music scene's all about. Connecting with other musicians, connecting with fans, friends, making new friends like yeah. you. <laughs> And, and hanging out, having a good time, and you know, making the most of it, and going as far as you can with it. All right. Okay, guys. With that, I will let you make sure your polo game is tight. You have babies. <laughs> <laughs> and I meant that. <laughs> Very nice. We're actually and working on finishing uh, our well, it's a third. Well, yeah, album. It's yeah. A yeah I, we uh, we didn't touch on that. Gee, many crime. Like many. A weird yeah. asshole. I uh, I just let you. They'll go six minutes and did not ask you about. Any any, <laughs> any freaking albums. Um, I, so we had two prior albums under this band name uh, with prior members. Uh -huh. um, we're, we got away from that. And uh, now Marcos, our drummer, he is uh, actually recording our, our third album. Golf okay. Yeah. <laughs> In the process and, uh, of mixing and mastering, yeah. we're almost done with it now. Excited about it. Everything sounds well. The recording went well. We had a lot of fun. We okay. had a lot of fun recording it. And okay. uh, brought us a lot together, right? Yes. We really enjoyed yes, that. Um, but we're hoping that a lot of people are going to be inspired and enjoy you know, what we have to give them, uh, which is a positive message in the end. Yeah. So we'll see how it And goes. does the album have a name yet? Yes, Through yes. the Looking Glass. Through the Looking Glass. Okay. All right. They, they say the grass is uh, always greener on the other side, so, okay. you know, what's All life right. like on the other side? All right, and uh, where can we find your music? Um, iTunes, Amazon, um, Spotify, um, pretty much Google search and you'll find all kinds of stuff. Okay, though. Check us out on our Facebook, How long have you guys been together? Uh, officially with these members, I'm the only original. Um, with these members, it's been like two years. Yeah, two okay. Years. And uh, with the other guys, it was going on uh, six. Oh, wow. So you've been around for quite a while. Yeah, quite a while. Okay, no. Awesome. All right, with that, I will let you pack up and go home and get some sleep. Hey, thank you so Appreciate much. Appreciate you. Thank, thank you. you yeah, thanks a lot.